Yeah, we sure do, Jim. Uh, these two coaches, they know how to give their teams the best chance to win, how they manage the game. It's going to be exciting to see which coach comes up with the best play to win this game here today. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Turn ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. Kaepernick's the man in charge of the offense here today. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. He fires it in there tight. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. First and 10, Frank Gore gets it here. They pounce on him there. Vernon Davis is a playmaker from the tight end position. Oh, he definitely is. The fastest tight end in the NFL. And now you take a quarterback with a big, strong arm like Colin Kaepernick, and you've got to look out for Vernon Davis from start to finish. Second and nine, looking to the right side and throwing. Ball's picked off. Here is the 2011 NFL Rookie of the Year quarterback, Cam Newton. I think the thing that catches you by surprise, Jim, when you meet Cam Newton for the first time, you go, my gosh, he's a big man. He's every bit of six foot six. He can run and has a very powerful run. First and 10, Stewart's got it on the handoff. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Second and four, D'Angelo Williams. A tackle behind the line. I know you love this set of linebackers. Navarro Bowman, one of those right in the middle of the field. Well, he's a linebacker, Jim. They can play all three downs, good against the run and fast enough and athletic enough to cover tight ends and wide receivers over the middle. Third and six, setting up screen. Ball is caught. It's away from the stack. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20, Let's see if they have a play up the sleeve that can get them in the end zone. First and 10. And Williams trying to power his way right up the middle. And that's the type of run I think this offense would take all game long, Phil. Oh, would they ever. They would love this. This is, this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown, Panthers. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Panthers defense once again setting up that score. Turnover points cashed in by the offense. They crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center. First down and 10. Gore is going to secure the handoff. Charles Johnson is coming off a 12-and-a-half sack season, and he is a large presence on that Carolina defensive front. That's what you need to have a good defense. Who's going to be your premier pass rusher? That's Charles Johnson. And also, he's good against the run. Gaines, 17. Good job by the quarterback that time. He didn't take the bait. He didn't throw it down the football field. He threw it short to the open receiver, and we've seen it so many times. Throw it to the guy is open and see if the defense can make the tackle. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. He's got some daylight. The ball is jarred loose. The defense has the football. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. 
it helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. D'Angelo Williams has been doing it for quite a few years now. He knows how to make people miss, and also with that experience, he's not afraid to run over you and still pick up yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. On first down, it's going to be back to the ground game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. To Williams spins away from the hit. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Third down after the completion. Got a little screen set up here. Catch is made. Runs out of bounds. Jim, years ago, you never would have seen a screen pass on third down. But offenses are so varied now, you see it more and more. That was nice execution on that play, and it picked up the first down. Williams going to take the handoff now. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped their run just for a short game. The Panthers will go with the pistol on this play. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Third down on the way. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Eyeing that left side. Incomplete. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, plus the football. Thought I saw a little flinch right there, and it's going to push the offense back five yards. False start. Offense. Should be a routine punt. <laughs> Bobins lined up in the slot. First and ten. And the give to Frank Gore. They deck him in the backfield. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. And here we have second down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That catch gives them a first down. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is... You give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pad at that time? First and ten. Gore. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. Throws a strike. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. First down following the long play. Frank Gore gets it here. And they came up a yard short. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Second and one. He'll fire it out to the left. The 49ers get a first down. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and 10. Gore is taking the handoff. 
I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Second and nine. Trying to work that left side. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Third and nine, throwing now to his left. Zeroed in on that one. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. First down here after the completion. And the give to Frank Gore. Power surge, touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The returner opts for the touchback and the offense will begin at the 20. Olson's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. Secures it with two hands. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. Olsen's move from the tight end position to the slot. First and 10. They'll stay on the ground on first down. They spot it at the 42. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second down and one. Brings it in. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Now first and ten. That'll stop the play right there. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too, the way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Jonathan Stewart with the football. No games on the play. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Back to the ground. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Olsen's in the slot here for this play. Third and five. Into the open flat. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. And he drives it through for the field goal. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense, and what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down here. Toss to the outside. And moves ahead for about four. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and six. Screen play is on. Keekley who makes the tackle. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. 
Working that left side, and that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. When you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Fair catch signal made. Williams is in the backfield. First and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. There's a sideline pass. Incomplete as rule. The Panthers come out in a bunch set. Second attempt. Ball comes out. And the recovery is made by the defense. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Back to the running back. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short gain. Gain of four. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here. Touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal, you've got to decide, what are we going to do? Well, this time, the offense, nice design. They throw the football, and the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. The 49ers are about to kick the football back, but it's the offense celebrating and the defense doing all the setup. That fumble recovery gave them great field position setting up the score. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Offense lines up here. First and 10, looks to his left. With two hands, he has it. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. They send the tight end in motion. Second down and 10, setting up a little screen. Williams, they knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. And they sack the quarterback, and that's a quick series, a three and out. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Wants to give it a go here. Tackled right around midfield. And Crabtree's a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Play fake here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Will go ground. And that last play made by Quentin Michael. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon.
Second down here. They give it to the running back, and that's a two-yard gain. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course it'll be a touchdown. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You failed on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. Lined up now in kickoff formation. Taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10, and Williams has handed the football. Two minute warning. Olsen's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Second and eight. up the football and the defense has it they've got him down there that was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time protect the football no excuse for letting it uh fumbling the football in a situation like that gore is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back first and ten throws the pass a takeaway wiggles past the defender Days for linebackers, they've got to be able to do everything. They've got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. He didn't look it in. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Second down following that incompletion. Newton's got it in the gun. The throw to the left. Makes the catch. And for about six. Third and four. He'll fire it out to the left. The quarterback throws it on the mark. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Gets past the first wave. Has the first down and a whole lot more. 21 yard pickup. This is turning into quite a drive, Bill. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Here's the first snap after the big play. Just a quick drop back. Eyeing that left side. Catch is made. Tackled at the 29-yard line. Williams is in the backfield. Second and ten. This is a screenplay all the way. He stacked up at that point. The Panthers, one timeout remaining. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Newton's back in shotgun formation. For about four. The 49ers come out in a dime package. Second and goal from the five. He's looking to the right. He Carolina in the end zone. Touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Count it. The 49ers about to receive the kick after this game was just tied before halftime 
the scores 17 to 17. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. McDonald's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First down and 10. Gore. And pick up about four. The 49ers signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Lined up in the pistol formation. Kaepernick from the gun. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. And we'll be back to Charlotte after the break for the start of the third quarter. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. First down, offense readying for the snap. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Breaks free, has some space to work with. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent, but how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Williams in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Throws to the right. That pass was hurried. They've come out in the dime package. Third and 12. looking to the right side and throwing. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They're in punting formation. This punt will be returned. And that's a gain of 10. First down all the way. Ball is out. Recovery by the offense. Just when you thought they may have a costly turnover, they're able to somehow recover the football. You know, Jim, you know what happens to guys on offense when they fumble the football? You know where they go? To the bench. That's where this man is going. You fumble it, you're in trouble, you take him out of the game. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. In trouble now. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The interception. And he'll step out of bounds. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Tight end in motion. First and 10. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool them with the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Newton's going to take it from the gun. And a completion this time. It's now second down. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. Jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting them ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. 
Offense lines up here. First and ten. Kaepernick sells the play fake and looks downfield. Makes the grab. And that's good for only a yard or two. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Second down and eight. Frank Gore gets it here. Star Latula lay in on that play. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Trying to make something happen. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Again, will try his return. That brings the play to an end. Olson's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and 10. Will run it. Here's the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Panthers lined up in the pistol. D'Angelo Williams. Running to the left side. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Olsen's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Midway into the third. And here's the throw. Cam Newton throws it down the field. These NFL receivers are so fast that you just got to get rid of that football and let it go. That time the quarterback waits a little too long and he underthrows the receiver down the field. Fakes him out, breaks free. Nice tackle. Bolden in the slot. First and 10. Quarterback drops back, play action. He'll fire it out to the left. And it's Luke Keekley who makes the tackle. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. Trying to work that left side. Quentin Michael with the pick. Tackles made. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive. And being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. First and 10. Williams got it on the handoff. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. And Williams is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Complete. He's brought to a halt. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches. One of these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Smith lined up now as a slot receiver. And he's going to be brought down. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Well, that's the knock on this field goal kicker. When he misses them, he can kick it a mile. He just can't kick it straight. Colin Kaepernick under center. Now first and ten. The give to the running back. Breaks the tackle. And that gets the first down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Gores in the backfield. Single back set. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Uh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The defense comes out of the nickel. Kaepernick from the gun. He's going deep. And it's incomplete. 
That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands, and once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play! That kick is no good. Is no good. Oh, and that football went up. It looked like it was going to be good, but he just, just misses it. Smith lined up in the slot. First and ten. To the ground here, running to his right. Brought down right at the 50. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. The Panthers come out in the pistol. First and 10. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread-and-butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Stewart lined up in the backfield. Tight ends in motion here. Newton in shotgun formation. Throws to the right. Makes the reception. He steps out. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. First and ten. And Williams. And he's brought to the ground. Smith, a receiver in the slot, staying on the ground, going to lose yards here. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, if you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. First and 10. Throwing now to his left. Inhales the pass. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Working that left side. That ball has been picked off. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory? Snickers satisfies. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. Tim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Look, they're putting them all in. But the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Third and ten. Looking long. And it falls incomplete. 
They went for the deep throw, but the defensive back was there. Yeah, good job that time. I got to give the defensive back a lot of credit. He was not caught sleeping out there. He was alert, read the right keys, and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw. They'll take it at the 20. Williams is in the backfield. First down and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. He's wide open for the grab. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. First and 10. Goes to the left. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. Offense lines up here. Hand off. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. and about a half a yard. Running a little college-like option. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. Navarro Bowman's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Olsen's playing out of position in the backfield here. To the right side, bringing the play to an end. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third and 11, pitches it back. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. And he puts it through for three. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. It's first down as they head to the line. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Slips right through his fingertips. All you have to do is watch the head of the receivers. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. And the give to Frank Gore. Always important to know where you are in the football field. That time, a good job by the ball carrier. Just ekes out a first down. Nice job. First down here after the run. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Down the field. It's intercepted. Well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Williams is in the backfield. First and ten. Taken down. Well, if your offensive line is not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? 
Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Play action. And here he goes. Quarterback giving himself up. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Third down and three. Good solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. That time I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision. And it cost his team yards lost. He's going to try and return this one. And that's a gain of maybe five. Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. This defense is awesome at blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. He has the grab. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. And they sacked the quarterback. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league, where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. And you see the cover two defense. You've got to know where to throw the football. He did not, and that's why the ball goes incomplete. Third and 20. Quentin Michael picks off that pass. He's brought down. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. For 14. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Newton's got it in the gun. And it's incomplete. You know, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Williams going to secure the handoff. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Should be an easy one here. Big skin in the air. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. And Juan Bolden with the catch. They've got a first down now after that catch. And a flag is down. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Offside. Defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Manningham's in the slot. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Nice job by the quarterback. Finding the open guy short. They get the completion. 
They still do not get the first down, though. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. Catch made by Mario Manningham. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First and 10. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Running away from the pressure. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked. And the pass is picked off, and that will all but do it. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury, and uh, it's just it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope it's going to be okay. The 49ers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. From the eye, they give it to the deep back. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. The defense comes out in the dime. Third down and 13. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Phil, this was a tough loss to handle. Yeah, it was. So much confidence coming into the game, thinking you had the game plan. Your team was healthy. Nothing can go wrong, and then it does. You make the mistakes and you lose. Tough to take.